October 3rd. Jewish New Year was just yesterday. I'm on my way to figure out why I should marry someone Jewish. Well, the mere fact that you're asking that question seems to me that you gave it some thought and that you really want to marry somebody Jewish. I think now I'm getting to be aware that that, that has some importance to you as well. But I do see a lot of benefits and advantages of marrying someone of your religion. What if I meet a nice girl that isn't Jewish? What do I do? Should I date her? Maybe I shouldn't. Because if I date her, I fall in love with her. I want to marry her, but she isn't Jewish. I do think that if I meet someone who's not Jewish, and I know they're the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with, I don't think I won't marry them just because they're not Jewish. It didn't loom as a great danger, you know, to me anyhow. It wasn't like you have to teach them about sex or drugs before the fact so that then when they're exposed to it, you know. I think it's important to my family also. Well, I know it's important to my family. They. I never really said anything about it until I started dating somebody who wasn't Jewish. So, um, yeah, then when you started dating um, Laura, I guess it, I felt like at that point, I personally felt like it's time to, you know, at least let Matthew know what I feel. Like, seriously, because my mom said to me, she's like, I even accepted the fact that he wasn't Jewish, you know, about that. I'm like, it didn't matter to me until about a year ago when I guess I just was old enough to start thinking about the future and mm. yep and I also was aware he was a very nice boy and I liked him very much and it bothered me and it bothered me that it bothered me a little bit too because he was a very nice guy but I wasn't sure how comfortable Allison would end up being in the end and so there's nobody saying that this person isn't a good person or that I shouldn't marry them because they're not a good person because they're not Jewish. I guess we didn't think about it too much before the fact and you heightened our awareness of it by going out with somebody who wasn't Jewish even though she was a delightful person and someone we liked very much. In Hebrew school, I remember being taught that we should repopulate the Jewish population. Besides, you had all those years of Hebrew school where they used to talk about it incessantly. So if we had talked about it, it would have been like, oh, God, yeah, they're yeah, talking yeah, about right. it, too. I think it bothered her at first, but once she got to know him, like, I think she got attached to him so much that it didn't matter. And I think that she... The thought crossed her mind that this might be the person I would spend the rest of my life with. And she accepted that because she knew him so well and she knew how much fun we had together. And she didn't look at his religion. And she said, oh, well, we'll deal with it. Now, if you ask her this, she'll probably be like, I hated him. <laughs> I've seen a lot of 
Jewish girls that uh, I didn't care for and that weren't very nice. And I've seen a lot of non-Jewish girls who were very nice, would make very good wives, and that's what counts. Believe it or not. It would have been ludicrous for me to say that a mixed marriage isn't going to work. It just isn't going to work because you could see one that worked beautifully. Um, it just wasn't my hope for you. You have to understand the difficulties involved in intermarriage. Difficulties, a lot of difficulties, and they, they become more apparent as you get older. When you're young and love is great, then you don't care. You say, well, I don't care. But after a while, the differences show differences, and they become meaningful, and they be affect your life. So why is it important to me? Is it just to make my family happy? No. It's for me also. Because I enjoy being Jewish. I enjoy the, the customs and the holidays. And what surprises me is how some people live their lives not being Jewish, not observing any holidays, or doing anything Jewish. But when it comes to getting married, they want to get married to a Jewish girl or boy, no matter what it was. And the reason for it is that you feel more comfortable with one of your kind. They have the same interests the same holidays, have the same occasions to enjoy each other, and that's why you want to be married to somebody of, uh, of your own religion. You know, it's a good reason for all of us to spend time together, and it's, I don't know, it just, you know, you can count on that. You can count on seeing everyone at, on the holidays, and it's just nice, and that's what means the most to me, just the family. I mean, one of the things that we find a lot of pleasure in is the holidays like this and Passover and whichever other one. There are only a few a year, but it's real. if you're not Jewish and it's hard to appreciate these, what we, what we find fun in these holidays. So it's easier to assimilate somebody into the family. I guess I you know, also... We may be being selfish in that respect. We want somebody to come and enjoy the Jewish holidays with us. Yeah, I think it's important that they would marry someone Jewish. Keeps the heritage, it keeps the family traditions, makes it easier to raise a family. Um, usually there's a commonality in the backgrounds that makes it easier to get along. I think she would understand. I think she'd understand if I married someone that wasn't Jewish, I think, well, it depends on what religion they were and how religious they were and if they were willing to compromise. Compromise with what? Well, give and take a little, you know, when, you know, so come to my family functions and let me go to theirs and, you know, be a part of what I was raised with. I think the family meals try to keep a family together. And Friday night's a good night to do it. You see, the Jews weren't stupid. On Friday night, they, you're supposed to drink wine and relax. And you're and supposed to sing, that's right, and sing songs and get festive. That's why, you know, the, the wine wasn't just to make Kiddush, it was to it make other things. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't a See, sets. there was more to Judaism, and you're supposed to relax and be with your family and be festive for a reason. I like.